said, well, you know me, I'm just a guy who likes to eat, drink and be merry. <laughs> Heard it before. Now, listen, if you've enjoyed me, and there have been plenty who have, <laughs> the name's Fluffy Galore. If not, well, you can spank me later. What? You haven't eaten much. You've had a couple of bites already. Just leave it with you, Christy. Let's enjoy the show. Now, Ponters, listen. As you know, tonight's the night when we at the club like to throw ourselves open to any of you on the floor who take our fancy. <laughs> yeah, I bet you haven't had an awful like that for a long time, have you, Chuck? Uh, I bet you haven't either. Oh, looks like we've got a live one here. <laughs> oh, bless. I like a man with passion. <laughs> oh, I remember my first drink, yes. How would you like to come up here, love, and show us what you're made of? Come on. Come on, give him a round of applause. That's right. You've got Nick. to encourage him. Bless. He's starting to act funny. Oh, All the better, then. Oh, What's your name? Would you prefer a question on sport? No, no. Nick, 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Nick, 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 Fluffy. I hope that's a name and not an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't mind my little interruptions. Uh, some people call it heckling. That's all we call it. I call it quality control. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Any any students in? Yeah, woo, yeah. yeah. Bluminate students. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're laughing at, mate. Last time I saw a gob like yours, it had an apple in it. <laughs> oh, you can't please everyone. Well, I wouldn't mind, but she's my girlfriend, you see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any, any bikers in? Yeah! Sixties yeah. were ranked, mate. Yeah. Minging. Yeah. Your beard. Yeah. Is, is this your woman? Yeah. Oh, or did you bring her on a bet? Hey. I've got a curve if you want to uh, borrow to groom them up. Please, please. I wouldn't mind, but they broke my Ficus Benjamin right in two. It's a plant, dear. Oh, hello, Chuck. You come to tend to the injured. As ever, Fluffy. Well, you don't have to worry about me. No, nothing but my pride has been hurt. <laughs> uh, nice frog, by the way. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm sure I can't say the same about yours. Oh. Later, doll face. <laughs> <laughs> this way, Mom. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, what have you got for me? Fight at the club. Comedy night. And the joke's on us, I suppose. And well, what do you expect with the likes of that in charge? Not your type, then. You're trying to be funny. You could be straight, you know. Yeah, and I'm Jack the Ripper. Should we get on, then? Look at him. Drunk as a proverbial. I've seen it all before. Young lout, can't hold his ale. Result, blotto. Did you search his pockets? Of course. Found some of those high-energy glucose tablets. You found glucose, and you didn't suspect that this lout, as you call him, could be diabetic, suffering from severe hyperglycemia? No. You know, this boy could have died if he'd been left like this. Good thing I sent for you, then, wasn't it? I heard my boyfriend was arrested. He was at the club. His name's Neville. Nick Neville. The diabetic? Yes. And he's with the doctor now. What? Is he all right? Can I see him? Not well, while he's with the doctor. You'll have to follow proper procedure. But he's my boyfriend. They're always somebody's love. Now, you wait over there, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. He's a brute, isn't he? Face like a welder's bench. I say my jokes usually go down better than that. Hey, come on, love. I'm in a man trouble, is it? Hey, don't worry. He's probably not worth it anyway. You don't understand. My boyfriend's been taken ill. For all I know, he could be in a coma by now. Really? Most of mine just act like they are. Sorry. I knew I shouldn't have left him. I was just trying to teach him a lesson. Wait a minute. Weren't you at the club earlier? You were with, um... Nick. Nick Neville. I knew that name ring a bell. <laughs> ding, ding. The fighting comic. <laughs> That's not funny. Nick's a diabetic. He can get very aggressive when his blood sugar's low. 
None of this is perfect. Look, if it's any consolation, I, I think your boyfriend's a natural. I mean, I've been in the comedy business a long time, and it, it could have what it takes. Do you really think so? <laughs> Does Daddy LaRue look good in tights? He's not really as bad as people think, you know. Everyone at college wonders what I'm doing with him, but they don't see him like I do. I know he can be a bit brash, and that he seems conceited. Very. But he's got a lot to contend with. It's just insecurity, really, deep down. And I know he'd love to do stand-up, more than anything else in the world. Which is why I'm willing to let him have another go, providing he behaves himself. Honestly? Guides honour. <laughs> and he can keep away from my ficus Benjamin. It's a plant. <sighs> oh, never mind. Look, just get your fella back on his feet and round to the club at, say, lunchtime tomorrow. We'll talk, OK? Thanks, Fluffy. Ah, it's better. Now, dab your eyes. You don't want your mascara running. <laughs> they tell me you're a bit of a comedian. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll make my girlfriend laugh, but only when I get undressed. Secret to a good relationship. So tell me, have you ever collapsed like this before? So there were no warning symptoms? Have you been eating regularly? Anything to drink? No, thanks. I'm driving. Uh, joking aside. You sound just like my girlfriend. She's always warning me about the drink. Well, she does right. Look, I, I had a couple of lagers, that's all. Lager? Mm -hmm. What kind of lager? Premium kind. But I was counting the sugar content as part of my intake. That's fine, but alcohol, especially the amount in a strong drink like lager, sends down blood sugar fast. That's probably what happened tonight. You know that you shouldn't drink on an empty stomach. It wasn't empty. I had a couple of lagers in it. Exactly. Which is why, in future, you'd be better off to alternate all the drinks that you do have and then have an alcohol-free one. You're having a laugh. You know, your girlfriend's right. You really do have to start acting more responsibly where your diabetes is concerned. I know. But all work and no booze makes Nick a dull boy. Uh, oh, well, it's your funeral. Mm. Right, that's me done. You're fine. But I do want you to see your own doctor in the morning, just to be on the safe side. I'm on Riverside's books. I, I went to the diabetes clinic once. Too much hassle. Never went back. Um, I saw that doctor, Mick, what's his name? Maguire? Yeah, how do you know? Because that's where I work. Is there no escape? Nope, not in this life. Anyway, I'm sure Dr. Maguire will be more than happy to see you again. Yeah, but will I be happy to see him again? Well, he's a bit, you know, serious. Oh, he didn't laugh at all your jokes then? Uh, you're a much better audience. I don't suppose there's um, room on your list, is there? Yeah. You could see me if you prefer. There's no problem. But I uh, promise that I'll laugh at all your jokes. Is that a deal? Deal. Good. Uh, now what? Well, my next duty is to explain to the police that, in my medical opinion, your behaviour tonight is entirely due to your low blood sugars. And, and that will get me out of here? Well, I'm no lawyer, but given the circumstances, I'm pretty sure that they'll let you off with just a warning. I hope so, because the last thing I need is a criminal record. I've got enough of them in my collection anyway. <laughs> ah. mm. two lovebirds to drink. Four pints of lager. You'd better be joking. I'll have a lemonade. A diet lemonade. And I'll have a bit of lemon. Now, Nicholas, and I hope that's a name, not an adjective. Mm -hmm. As I told Chrissy last night, I'm quite interested in you. Oh, yeah? Don't flatter yourself. Someone's got to. I'm going to punch your lights out in a minute. Look, Nick, I thought I'd give you a tryout on the show starting tonight. I mean, if you go down well, could be talking about a regular slot. You're on. Mark? Mm, sorry, only me. Did you want anything? Uh, just a word about a patient. I'll come back later. What's that? It's an insulin infusion pump. Oh, really? I've read about them, but I've never actually seen one. Can I take yeah, a closer Yeah, be my guest. 
In fact, come on, open up your shirt. Sorry? No, you can model it for me. No sense in doing half a job. What's the matter? Do you want a chaperone? <laughs> This is worn around the belt. Get that. And the insulin would be delivered by way of a butterfly needle. Placed just under the skin, about here. That. Hmm. Nice abs. This is the only time you're ever going to get this close to them. Oh, Wally. It's such a spoil sport. <sighs> okay. Actually, I'm thinking about offering it to a patient later. Any questions? Oh, uh, yeah. You couldn't get me one of these with vodka in it, could you? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Well, that's the least I can do. This is not the best place to chat, is it? Look, I know things are hard for you at the moment. But a lot of people are rooting for you particularly Helen. We all know you're innocent. You're a doctor, for heaven's sake. And that somehow makes a difference? In your case, yes. You've come a long way, haven't we? You and I. Hmm. Look, if there is anything I can do to help. Well, actually, there is one thing. Yeah. It's just... I'm worried about Helen. I mean, the practice is new and she's under a lot of pressure. And you think she could do with some help? Yes. Yes. I mean, after everything that's happened between us, I'd understand if... Come on. I'll talk to her. We'll sort something out. Thanks, mate. So, are you going to skirt around the issue all day? Or are you going to spill? What? Your thoughts on the common agricultural policy. What else? Come on. What's all this I hear about you and Ronnie Woodson? A drunken pass? Isn't that usually my act? Oh, shush. You're making me sound like some kind of drunken sex maniac. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm getting drunk, throwing myself at the nearest thing in trousers. I'm digging myself into a deeper hole now, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> well, I forgive you. I don't know, Jude. It's not me. Don't like feeling this out of control. Is it work getting you down? I've hardly had time to think. Well, maybe that's part of the problem. And not just over the last few weeks. How do you mean? Well, do you not think all this wild, untrammeled emotion might be some kind of response to Phil's death? What, part of a delayed grieving process, you mean? Maybe. And of course, all this business with Mark hasn't helped. Don't even go there. You know, I could recommend a very good counsellor. No! Why bother when I've got you? Me? Well, you're so sorted, so together. I wish I could be more like that. You say what you think, you call a spade a spade, and you don't take any nonsense from anyone. Yeah, well, I hardly think I make a good role model. Well, that's where you're wrong. From now on, I'm going to stop thinking so much and start living. And by living, I mean loving. Oh, yeah? Well, a woman has her needs. Maybe there's nothing wrong with my life that can't be cured by a bit of good old-fashioned hanky-panky. Right, then. We should drink a toast. Um, to a nice bit of the other. Mm. The other. <laughs> mm. Talking of which, I met this guy recently. His name was Graham. Dish the dirt. <laughs> Hiya. Mm. Hi. Still on the BLTs? <laughs> no, you know me. Busy? Mm. I sometimes think people are making up illnesses in order to see where it happened. Maybe you should start selling tickets. Yeah. I was wondering if Helen was free. Yeah, she's come back from lunch. Go right in. Hi, right, thanks. Hi, George. Hi, yeah. Oh, you're catching a quick bite before the afternoon rush. Something like that. You know Helen's under a lot of pressure, what with Mark gone. I was wondering if we shouldn't get our heads together and see whether we couldn't lighten the load. 
I've been thinking the same thing. A locum would seem the obvious choice. Well, I could ask around for you if you like. Chase up a few old contacts. Might as well start now, no time like the present. Good. Once it's sorted, I'll tell Helen. Mr. Jones. So how was he? He's worried about you. Why? He feels that everything's on your shoulders. I'm not going to argue with that. From what I hear, without Mark, at best, you're just about ticking over. And at worst? You tell me. I'm not going to lie to you, Mac. At the moment, breaking point's just a distant memory. That is why I'm prepared to loan you Ollie. Part-time, of course. Ollie, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Half days, but equally between here and Riverside. But won't you miss him at Riverside? I tell you the truth, since you and Mark left, we haven't been that busy. So it won't be a problem. And the experience will do him good. It'll ease your workload and make him a better doctor. Mutually beneficial, wouldn't you say? Mac, I don't know what to say. Well, how about yes? Yes. Uh -huh. Right, that's all fine. So, not too many after effects from the hypo then? It's like headache. She's sitting beside me. Don't worry, I'm used to it. I must say, you do seem a lot chirpier. That's because a great future in showbiz awaits me, Doc. He's been offered another gig at the club. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. A residency, if all goes well. Great. Yeah, but. Ah, here we go. Well, what if you can't get out again? Chrissy's right. I mean, the lagger's one thing, and it certainly doesn't help. But I'm concerned that you don't seem to have enough control over your blood sugar levels. Now, I have something here that might help. Oh, an infusion pump. I read about it in the Diabetes UK magazine. There was a whole article on it last month. Chrissy Sterland, diabetes mastermind, eh? Leatherbridge Health Authorities are very keen to help people with diabetes gain access to this type of therapy. If you want, I can show you how it works. Go on, then. <clears throat> okay. You just want to put that on your belt. Okay. Now, I had to set it to match your insulin requirements. So if I just start to feed the insulin through now. Mm, you can press my buttons any day, darling. Is he always like this? Only when he's nervous. I'm not nervous. I would be. You do realise this needle would have to stay in your belly for 24 hours a day. Yeah, I know. You, um, you get a background rate of insulin and then you give yourself extra amounts before meals. All right, all right, so I read the magazine. She kept leaving it at places where she knew I'd seen it. Then you'll understand that wearing one of these means being more responsible with your diabetes, not less. Yes, uh, I'm beginning to get the picture. Well, you've got to be 100%. Not all patients take to wearing a pump, you know. For one thing, it's a constant reminder of their diabetes. Got that already? And some people feel embarrassed, especially the young ones. Uh, why? Well, they seem to think that it lessens their attractiveness to the opposite sex. Not very cool, I suppose. Well, they shouldn't be so sensitive. Yeah. Just lift your top up. Swap. Okay. Just a wee scratch. There. How does that feel? Yeah, fine. You sure it won't start to hurt? Well, it shouldn't do. Most people don't even notice it's there. Oh, they've got the invisible model, have they? There you go. So you really reckon this thing can control my hypos better? Yeah. Uh. Provided you moderate your drinking. No problem. Tonight's my big chance, and I'd much rather feel funny ha-ha than funny peculiar. So you'll try the pump out tonight, then? Yeah. On one condition. What's that? That you're there to see it. OK, it's a deal. Do you mind if I bring a friend? The more the merrier, Doc. Good. Sounds great for me. Ah, Ollie, can I have a word? Uh, sure. Um, I'll leave. No, no, no. No, it's OK. I have decided, from now on, and for various reasons, you will split your time equally between best practice and Riverside. I don't understand. Is there a problem with my work? No, absolutely not. I see. So when was this decided? It was decided just now, actually. So if you can start tomorrow at best practice, morning surgery, nine o'clock sharp, is that okay? I'd better get on. Don't I get a say in this? Apparently not. Oh, hello, Chuck. See if you can't cheer up Mr. Grumpy here. I haven't heard a peep out of him since he got in. Hi, sweetheart. 
Well, it's a big thing making a professional debut. Sure, it's not his time of the month. Look, if you must know, he's nervous because he's trying out a pump infuser <clears throat> to help stabilize his blood sugar levels. It's very new, and I think he's been very brave. Pompey? Eh? Didn't even know he had a bike. Here, I bought you something. I had it made specially. Will you wear it for me tonight? I will. I promise. I'd better leave you to get ready. Um, just remember, check your sugars and eat something sensible. I wish my mother had given me advice like that. I've got a sandwich in my bag. So. Go on, get going. I'll be fine. Oh, thanks, love. No, thanks. I'm giving up for Lent. Mind you, darling, I'm not giving everything up. What are you doing after the show? Hmm? It's just my battery on the uh, bionic comic. Perhaps you thought you'd have a bigger one. Just leave it while you're fluffy. I wasn't going to touch it. Oh, I thought you'd better know. I've invited a friend in to see the show tonight. Works in telly. He's always on the lookout for new talent. Now, I'll sing my song and introduce you. Don't let me down. Only kidding. <laughs> no, you're all beautiful, and I love you, as you will, our special guest comedy star tonight. Boys, girls, and those of you who aren't quite sure, please give it up for Mr. Nick Neville. No bikers tonight, then. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to be quick, because the law will be here any minute. So, I went to those uh, soap awards last night. Yeah. The washing powder, what a... <laughs> You're joking. No, I only do that for money, no? Oh, come on, Chrissy, you must have seen it coming. My friends were right about you. You've been using me as a wet nurse, not a girlfriend. And, and the worst thing is, I've let you. Good old Chrissy. She'll remind me to take my insulin. She'll remind me to eat. She'll laugh at my awful jokes. Well, not anymore. You're on your own. It's gone down really well, hasn't he? Yeah, no hypos. Looks like the pump's done the trick. I don't think so. Found it in his dressing room. Well, he might have got away with it this time, but next time he mightn't be so lucky. Well, whatever happens, I won't be there to see it. How do you mean? He's dumped me. Says he's fed up with all my nagging. He's got an agent now. Apparently he's going on the comedy circuit. Oh, men! The only person Nick Neville is in love with is himself. I'm sure he and his ego will be very happy together. Go for it, girl. What was I saying about a bit of hanky-panky? Next time I have a yearning for a man, shoot me. Mm. Drink? Yep. Ooh. 
going to congratulate me, Dr. Carlyle? On what? Being stupid? This could have been the making of you. Oh. It wasn't my thing, really. A bit like Chrissy. Suited us both while it lasted. You really are a piece of work, aren't you? Well, if you don't want to bother with the pump, you could at least take my advice and go easy on the booze. It's my life, and I'll do what I want. In that case, you're wasting my time as well as your own. I think it would be better all round if you found yourself a new doctor, as well as a new girlfriend. You're lost, darling. I'll be on the telly soon. Really? Well, tell me when it's on, and I'll make sure I don't watch it. What did I tell you about not letting me down? They're all about showgirls and flashing lights, you know. Friends are important, too. I've got plenty of friends. You think so? I've been in this business 25 years, Nick. Man and girl. Played all the top clubs, parted with Glitterati. And look at me now. Stuck here in Leatherbridge. Show business can be a very unforgiving mistress, Nick. She can be very mean when it comes to giving second chances. It's a very long and lonely form. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, you can forget about your regular spot here. Well, this is me. Yeah, this is you. <laughs> Come on, what is it? You've been in a foul mood all evening. Sorry, I... I don't tell me you're still brooding over this best practice thing. Yes, it happens. I could have at least been consulted about the move. This way I feel like a bit of a spare part or something. About as important as a surgery photocopier. Well, stop exaggerating, Ollie. Mac's just being Mac. It doesn't mean anything by it. Oh, what? So now you're a partner, you've got to take his side? No, it's not like that. Oh, isn't it? All I'm saying is I put a lot of work into this practice and I deserve to be treated with a little bit more respect. I thought you of all people might have understood that. I think I do understand, all right? I understand that Mac's helping out a friend. I also understand that the people at best practice are under a lot of pressure and all you're thinking about is yourself. The whole world doesn't revolve around you, Ollie. And the sooner you realise that, the better. 